This here's Clint. This is Jim Bob. We're the Whiskey Dressers. That's right. And what are we here for today, you might ask? Well, it's funny they should ask. It is. We got another review for you. This right here is the... <laughs> right there. That is uh, oh, a oh. bottle or something. Um, Deuce? 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 Douche. Well, there's... Cognac Douche. I don't know how you say it. Did you... That looks gold, like it's real gold there. That stuff right there is what it is. Brass, um, that was big. It's really interesting. You can see Hammered that. brass right there, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. That's pretty neat. I, that's, it's, I think it's actual metal. I might be able to pick that off of there and get it done. So, I don't know, I don't know what that is. It looks like brass. Yeah. It might just be I brass. bet you Bill might think that that's an uh, old bottle. He might. We'll drink it all. All right, this it. um doesn't say a lot. It just says... uh. VSOP, whatever that is, Cognac. Um, there's a percentage in alcohol volume. Can't tell what it is. Um, that's really it. Yeah. I mean, we don't really know anything about this. I mean, I don't even know what that's over the thing, but do saucy. Yeah. They decided, hey, we're just going to not put any information on. Does it say that it might. Pregnant people shouldn't drink. Well, it's got the government warning on the back. Ah, uh, well, they couldn't get away with that. But that's that's it. I mean, there's not much there at all. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I think it's kind of interesting. It kind of gives it a. Uh, oh wait, what was it say something? I can, I'm the one with the bad eyes. It, it does say, in real small writing, it says V S O P, which stands for something. You can tell how much he listens to me. I already said that. And then it says. Oh, I need my reading glasses for that. I already went over that, Jim Bob. 69% alcohol. It's not 69%. 69. I think I might. <laughs> it looks like 6% to me. No, oh, it's not 6%. Get the hell out of here. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Let, me, let me see you real quick again. Should have brought my damn reading glasses. It does look like it says 6% alcohol. Do we get ourselves a liqueur? I can't. It's, well, it's a cog back. I think so. If I hold them open real wide, I can see. I think it is. I think I think you're right. Six percent. What the hell? Is I thought it was a cognac. -y. Where'd you see cog cognac at? It says right there above douche. Oh, okay. We like cognacies, right? All right. Well, let's give it a try. In our whiskey drinker shot glasses, you guys can get them. Oh, yeah, you can get these yourself. Links down below. Uh, Zazzle.com. That's right. Oh, crack test. It's sealed. Yeah. Give her a little pour here. Sounds legit. Nobody was. Oh yeah. Mm. You gotta make sure nobody was in the back. Nice and clear. Screwing on you. Know? What's good? I got the uh, patent pended color sheets here. As you can see, it has a very nice amberish rust color to it. Looks good. Mm. Smell test here. Mm, smells good. It smells real good. Yeah, I'm not really. I mean, there's not a bad smell to it, I guess. Well, I mean, it's only six percent alcohol. I think it's more than six percent. I can I smell like, more than six percent. I feel like we're in a freaking uh, Twilight Zone episode. I don't think sixty-nine. It smells like a good scotch, doesn't it? It does smell. It does have a hint of scotch. It smells like a good scotch. Maybe some barrel aging. Well, we don't know because Douchey didn't put anything on there. He <laughs> don't put anything on there. Man. <laughs> Screw us and information. We don't need it. Uh, I want to say, I went to the dentist today, and, the, and I said, should there be anything I do when I go home? Should I brush my teeth after I eat and stuff like that? But dentist said, well, you should drink whiskey. No, well, probably. And I said, well, I'm good at that, so uh, it's good we have it. I can't. Yeah, it, it, don't have a... You got to really smell hard like one of these. I found it's actually better, Jim Ball, if you just kind of whisk across it. Oh, really? Somebody wrote that in the comments you're listening no, to. No, try it. You We've can been snorting it like that forever. I know, but if you just go across. Well, I think you're right. Back and forth? All those years of snorting like that, you just got to be gentle with it. Yeah. Just like women. It smells like scotch. You used to hit women. And I learned you got to be gentle with them. Yeah. You started being gentle with them. Yeah, it's, oh, this shit's oh, still the same. Really good film there. I didn't notice that. My last live in hell. But anyways, it definitely passes a film test. Let's do these shots. All right, swish around. All right. Mm. 
Oh, that's 69% alcohol right there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> He's got a little bite. Ooh. Now, you sure it's not wow. scotch? You sure it's not scotch? <laughs> oh, yeah, it says Kojak. Oh. Kojak, you right there. Holy the... shit. Maybe that's 60%. Wow. Well, I mean, you're just taking the burn like a pussy. I took it like a man. You can't show it. Jesus Christ, like crying, Clint. I feel like I'm crying, Jim Bob. Jesus. You can't show people you're crying. Wow. We're going to finish this bottle and we're going to have to talk about being a man, Clint. Cause we might you know, have to. you got to stop Jesus. showing your emotions like that. Oh, I know what I got when I got this. I got another bottle of Remy Martin. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. I got. We don't need no. to review that because we've already done it. As I was telling Clint that advice, wow. and I felt like a father figure to him there for a second, <laughs> uh, even though you're older than me, right? Yeah, by like six months. Yeah, so uh, born right out of the same womb. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah. laughs> that's not a true story. Uh, sorry, to his, sorry to his mom and my mom. For my that gums are tingling. Image. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, as I was saying that, this uh, aftertaste came over me. Very good aftertaste. Like a like I just bit it on an apple with whiskey poured into it, or scotch poured into it, and it was delicious. Apple delicious. Uh, um, grandmother, grandmother delicious. Okay. okay. You ready for a rating? Fuji apples. Yeah. Go I'm ahead. Ready. You go first. I'm not ready. Um, well, all right. I'll be, I'll be ready. See? I'll be ready. <laughs> Do say, douchey, you can't read the damn alcohol percentage. So, yeah, it had a bite to it, but I can't make a judgment because I don't know the damn alcohol percentage. Well, that's not important. It I mean, is important. My gums me. are still tingling, so it's got yeah. some alcohol. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, know. It's got a punch to I it. I know. My teeth are burning and stuff. Um, okay, so. And my my rating. All right, we gotta we gotta break this down. I'm sorry. Well, give it a number and then break it down. Well, I gotta think about it oh, to break it. You down. just want you me to go ahead? Then? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna give it a four. All right. Well, now, not bad. Out of five. Yeah, four out of five. Here's my reason: because it has a bottom shelf bite, which is not always a bad thing. No. Nope. It's got top shelf flavor. I think. I really feel like the flavor's on point yep. as far as like. Honestly, it tastes more like a scotch to me than a cognac. Um, we don't know anything about about the stuff, so put it down in the comments. A scotch might be like a variant of maybe a, you know. I don't know cognac. We don't know. But um, it's a bottom shelf bite, top shelf flavor. Now I'm only giving it a four because I think that bite could be worked out a little bit more. Yeah. But with that being said, and we've said this a million times on the show, when I go to a bar. I want a shot of something that's going to kick me right in the balls. That's right. And right. this is it. Right. That's why it's getting a four. It's getting like a 4.9. It's not a five, but it's... 4.9? It's getting like a 4.9 if we had such a rating. We don't have those. So it's just a four. We don't have that editing key. we got to round up to the nearest four. It's true. We could so, do a half, but we're not going to do it to the editor. Um, I'm all right, surprised. So here's my breakdown. Now, first off, I look at this bottle. and I, I, say, I love the design. I say, damn. Some, some uh, Greek... Uh, who's that... <laughs> is that me? I think it was me. All right. <laughs> what the hell was that sound? Something, uh, Damn, uh, talking about a Greek thing. Weather. I think it looks like something yeah. a vampire hunter would carry. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Vampire That's, hunter. Yeah, ball. there you go. So you got Van freaking Helsing. That's he, Van Helsing certified right there. Wow. Now that you said that, Damn it. Our, change everything? our scale is just too terrible. We need to almost do it out of 10. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to go the same thing for it because I don't want to give it a five. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it could be worked out a little bit more to get that five. But this bottle is magnificent. Looks yeah. like a vampire bottle. Guess what? Going to the church, you can just walk into them churches. They don't mind. They're like, oh, it's got a cross in it. It's okay. Well, you drink it all. You chug it all. Then you walk into the church. I fill it up with holy water. Holy water right there. It's been blessed by a priest right there. And then, bam, vampire killer extraordinaire. There you go, right Sticking there. snakes and poor people. <laughs> innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> You're all drunk. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Yeah. But um, Skip the staking part. All right, so that's the bottle. That's the bottle. So, um, oh, yeah. And then another thing is, so, th so let's just say that gives it a point right there alone, the bottle. But then there's no information on the bottle. Which is kind right? of cool. Gives it another point. Because, because a mystery. Then you don't even know. You're right. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the taste of it, it's whatever. Uh, like you said, bottom bottom shelf bite. But it's got a nice little aftertaste. He already said it clever, more yeah. clever than I could. So there you got a point for the, uh, the ball kicker. Yeah. And then you got a point for the flavor. Yeah. So it gives you your four. I like it. That makes sense. It's like a woman just uh, smacked me right in the face while we're making love. While she was rubbing off? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? Anyway. Uh, and then, <laughs> what the hell did you just say? And then uh, I, we've been drinking. And then I'm like, give me another. You know what I mean? That's how I feel with that when I want another smack in the face. So. Hmm. So let's talk about being a man and hiding your feelings, and let's go. I'm gonna go to the liquor store and get something else. We'll see you later.